Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. In our last video, we killed the disease, Blight, that lived within the Emperor. So, Blight, a disease residing within the Emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was the source of the acrid mist that had plagued the cap capital's citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes, Amaratsu, or Amaterasu, and Isun. Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. Yeah, brief. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Goldnail's defeat form, defeated form rose the familiar blackness. The spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose. Then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose as if to rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest, if they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine. They still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey you! Aren't you forgetting something? You had a comic big type gas bag! You aren't even in the same league as the Magnificent is soon. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? How about it? Oh, wait, I almost forgot. That babe, Kaguya's, still locked up. It's really gross. Amy seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Ah, you don't get it, do you? Watch and learn, my furry friend! I don't think uh, microbes jumping around in your stomach or small animals jumping around in your stomach can really do this. So first I'll stir up his stomach like this and then... What the yikes! All right, so now we will actually be controlling the Emperor. What the? Hey, are you okay, Emmy? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oaf moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. And this is the way he moves. I am. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Er, um, now that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, your highness. This is really the only place we can go, so we just go. Oh. But surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Just leave me alone. I've got to do something and then I can be my old self again. Alright. We are the Emperor. Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? <laughs> Let's see. Aw, oh, he's duh. How about you start off by making me 100 doublings? Just pull in your leg, sweetie. So somehow we gained the ability to speak through it with our own voice through the Emperor. A nasty stomach virus.
All right. There we go. She's free. No time for chit chat, bamboo girl. But things are still a bit dicier out here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now let's see here. Oh yeah, coochie coochie coo. And that's how we got out. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give one of those victory howls to wake up the emperor. So there we go. Fantastic. We fought a disease, Kaya. And I'm yawning, I'm sorry. Our time and our damage was horrible for that. So much better in my practice file. Uh, of course. So now, uh, interesting stuff. We can do a lot of just fun kind of stuff. First off, uh, I wonder what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. And I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's cut him some slack. All right. Now he will actually uh, trade fangs with us. So now we can actually go talk to the queen because, uh, well, no, we can't just yet. Boy, am I going to give her a piece of my mind. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I do know you inside out. Yeah, like, creepy. So there we go. He is a demon fang traitor. And we can visit him. All right. So we're his lucky wolf now, which is fine. I would. Okay. The fog part pot uh, allows transfer between origin mirrors. So it's a warp thing, and then the golden ink pot increases ink restoration speed. So uh, any of these are really good. Uh, for now, I think we're going to go with the fog pot because it's teleportation and it's awesome. I didn't do this in my practice file. So there we go, Mist Warp. So there you go. Now we clearly don't have enough for the ink restoration thing, which would be awesome. So there we go, we got Veil of Mist Tech. We got a rooster statue. 
And then we can go outside here, and uh, I think we're gonna make it night. So it'll be easier to see what there is to find around here. But a stray beat is nice. Okay. Really, I, I can't move it. I can't make it night here. I mean, clearly there are scattered treasures kind of everywhere. Fine, I'll, I'll just find him by looking, I guess. Not a big deal. Alright, Pearl it is. Ah, it's almost night anyway. Wow, this is a lot of stuff just buried in his yard. I guess, you know, you expect that from royalty, I suppose. Yeah, we can go over here and stuff, but I don't think that there's... Oh, that's the. those are the things we had to platform across. That's great detail. I like that. All right. I'm going to check over here. I don't think that there's anything that we need in, in back here. Apparently not. Just a way back in. So we can get out of here. Just fine with me. We have a lot more stuff to do. Ton. But I actually only want to introduce one thing to kind of the dynamic of what's going on here. And after that, I think we'll be done with this video. And then I'll start the next video with... Uh, some kind of other stuff. So here we go. We can, we can talk to her. And she will, uh, hey, Bamboo Girl! What do you do? It's space it out here. So she can go anywhere she wants. We do. Nice. So there's a ton of stuff we can get out of the city now. And due to the city, like we can bloom trees now and things like that. Uh, but essentially, uh, what I really want to talk about is uh, there's another fishing minigame. Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. I'd really like to return, but just go. You're not his granddaughter? No, she's... You mean your real family lives somewhere else? Aw, uh, anyway, you should just go see him if you feel that way. So, she doesn't know her past. Okay. So she's an adopted granddaughter with... I... Yeah, go see him. With bunny ears, by the way. I mean... Well, okay, fine. You go... I don't want to hear the rest of her story. <sighs> yes! Such a jerk. She remember being in a small dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. And I feel I must get there as soon as I can. Okay. It's not a weird story. Small dark room. They're all over the place. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. Together they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasha Sanctuary! Okay. 
All right, we'll get out of here then. I'm not going there. Don't show me the map. Okay. So she doesn't know anything about anything. But to tell you the honest truth, I just kind of wish she'd stop talking. <laughs> Good, get out of here. No, don't tell her to wait. All right. Huh. All right, through here. Wait, what? Oh, I went the wrong stupid way. Darn it all. Stop doing that. She still stands there even at night. Okay. That works. All right. So our guy, our, uh, our fisherman monk, has uh, is not on the bridge anymore. There's a lot of stuff for us to do. There's stuff in the water next to this bridge. There's stuff in the, to the cursed zones in the... Uh, the both quarters of the city. There you go. So the city's come back to life. Saw a happy place like this a hundred years ago. This must be exciting for you being from the country and all. Now I know you just want to have fun, but don't go overboard. Because that's what girls want. I don't care what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to go talk to this... There's, there's a monk around here somewhere who's fishing. I need to go find him. I think I actually... Oh, yeah, I think he... Is he not over there? He might not be over there. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Whoa. No! Oh, I don't want to start this mini-quest! No, it isn't. It's not time to set sail for the East Street. At all. You can use that as like a taxi. And drive people around in it. So weird. Ah, stupid game programming stuff. Fine. Good, she's off the lily. Okay, we don't have to worry about her. She'll still be there later. All right, I can't get out. Oh, jeez, really? All right, I'm done. When we come back, I will be doing some post-commentary fishing and things like that, and I'll see you for that. Bye, everybody.